Begin with a slip knot. Place it on one of your pegs and you're going to cast on from left to right 14 stitches. You can use whichever cast on you prefer. I am going to use the non-loopy e-wrap cast on and I am going to cast on to with this one you skip every other peg and I only need 14 pegs one two three four one two three four And in this one, this one's 13, I'm gonna wrap the 14, right? I'm gonna take my yarn to the next peg and I am going to start knitting off. This is the cast on right here. And this one, twist it. Front. Again, you can use whichever cast on you prefer. But for this one, I am using the e-wrap cast on that is non-loopy and do one row of purl from left to right and that will be my first row in this case this is just so that my tie doesn't curl at the end. The next row I am going to knit all the way to the end. I'm using the U stitch, so go ahead and knit all the way to the end. Next row, I am going to purl to the back, to the beginning. I have just completed the first three rows, which are these three rows in the stitch pattern for the tie. And now I am ready to begin the stitch pattern itself. The first two stitches and the last two stitches of the row are edge stitches. They will always be done in gutter stitch. The middle 10 stitches that will have the stitch pattern. Okay, I am ready to begin row one of the stitch pattern. Remember, the first two stitches at edge are edge stitches. So in this case, we're gonna continue the gutter stitch on those two stitches. So we know that this next row is a knit on those two stitches. The next five stitches, so the next five pegs, one, two, three, four, five, right here is where we have one repetition of the stitch pattern. And then we're gonna repeat that stitch pattern one more time over the next five stitches. And then we have the edge stitches at the end, those two last. So let me show you what that will be. You will be repeating these 10 rows all throughout the pattern. So uh, these are the rows that we will be working on and I will be working with you step by step. So for row one, we're going to knit four stitches. One, two, three, four, and then we're gonna purl one. So that's one stitch pattern repetition. We're gonna repeat that one more time on the next five stitches. So we're going to knit four. One, two, three, four, purl one. And now we are back to the edge stitches on those last two pegs. And since we're doing the garter stitch, this calls for knit two. Perfect. On row two of the stitch pattern, again, we're going to continue the edge stitches. These two will be pearls since we're doing the garter on the first two and last two. This is pearl two. Now we are back to the five stitches right here where we're gonna do the stitch pattern. In this case, we are going to knit one, pearl one, knit three.
we're going to repeat that one more time because we're doing it twice in this over these 10 stitches. So it's knit one, to the front, purl one, knit three. We have reached the edge stitches and those curl for purl. That was row two. Row three, edge stitches. Now the first five stitches of the row are the stitch pattern. It's knit two. Purl one, knit two. Repeat that sequence one more time. So it's knit two, purl one, knit two. And I am back to the edge stitches which to maintain the gutter stitch is a knit. Row four, work the gutter stitch on the two edge stitches. And it calls four, knit three. Purl one. knit one. Repeat that one more time. So we have knit three, purl one, knit one. Back to the edge stitches on those last two pegs. The garter stitch. That was row four. Row five, work the edge stitches. I'm ready to begin the stitch pattern. And it's a purl one, knit four. Repeat that one more time. I am back to the edge stitches, those last two pegs. That is row five. Row six, work the edge stitches. Pattern. It is a purl one, knit four, purl one, knit four. Edge stitches, which we need to purl. That is row six. Row seven, work the edge stitches. Next five stitches will be worked as knit three, purl one. one. Repeat that one more time over the next five stitches. So knit three, purl one, knit one, take 
pedicure of the edge stitches that is row 7 row 8 take care of the edge stitches the next 5 stitches will be worked as follows knit 2 purl 1 knit 2 Repeat that over the next five stitches, so knit two, purl one, knit two, take care of the edge stitches. That is row 8. Row 9, work the edge stitches and work the next 5 stitches as follows. Knit 1, purl 1, knit 3. Repeat that sequence over the next 5 stitches. So we have knit 1, purl 1, three work the edge stitches and that is row nine row ten work the edge stitches knit then work the next five stitches as follows knit four Row one. Repeat that sequence over the next five stitches. So knit four again. One, two, purl one. Work the edge stitches. That is row 10 of the stitch pattern. We have just completed the 10 rows for the stitch pattern. We will repeat these 10 rows until our time measures approximately 21 inches from the cast on edge. Our knitting is looking quite well. You can see the diagonals going from the purl stitches. Once your time measures approximately 21 inches, I will show you how to decrease at the beginning and at the end so that the tie is less wide on the back. Let's get to that point. My tie has reached 21 inches. I am ready to do the decrease row. This is going to be a pretty simple decrease. I'm simply going to bring the first stitch over to the second. And then on the last, on the end pegs, I'm going to remove the loop from the peg before last and the last one move it over Perfect. now I'm going to keep working my row as normal now I will only have one edge stitch instead of two so just remember that that you will only have one edge stitch and the first one on this round on this row is to knit it so go ahead and knit it turning those two loops as one you can pick up both of them at the same time or just one at a time then work the middle stitches just as normal once you get to the last stitch remember to knit it treat both loops together and you will continue working on this form only with one edge stitch at each end until your tie measures approximately 56 inches or so i am ready to bind off so we're going to do the basic bind off knit the first two stitches Move the second over to the first. Lift the bottom loop over the top. 
move that loop that remains over, make the next stitch, repeat this all the way to the end of the loop until you have reached the last peg that has a stitch. Weaving the ends using a tapestry needle. Make sure that you weave it to the back side of the tie so that it remains un invisible. Do this to the cast on edge too, weaving in that weaving in your yarn tail end. I recommend steam blocking your item to allow the stitches to sit flatter. Here we are with our two ties. I hope you have enjoyed the videos. Thank you for joining me.